Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do another DIY hair colour. Um, we're using a nice and easy and it's in 8G medium honey blonde. This is the hair after, the colour after. So I'll cut in a minute to me actually showing you my hair before I've coloured it and you can see the difference um, in the colour. Uh, quite quite brassy, quite bright blonde, just wanted to uh, warm it through a little bit. And these videos have been pretty popular on my channel so far, so I thought I'd do another one with a colour that I've not used before. So if you want to see how I use one of these hair colours, please keep watching. So I'm just going to show you the state of my hair. Um, the lighting is not so great, so hopefully you can see. So through the roots there, I've got about an inch worth of growth. But where it's been sunny, it's, it's made the front of my hair very blonde. The sides are very grey. And then I've got quite a bit of dark there. And then the back. But hopefully you can see that. Right, let's get it sorted. So I'm using this one nice and easy and the colour is 8G Medium Honey Blonde. So I want to sort of put, as you can see I'm very very blonde, I want to put a bit of sort of, um, well like a goldeny colour through it. So not strawberry blonde but a little bit blonder than strawberry blonde. So in the box you get a set of instructions and then you get three tubes and bottles. You've got uh, number one which is the colour cream, number two which is the colour activator and number three which is actually um, a conditioner. So put the conditioner to one side because I accidentally put that one in there by mistake once so put that to one side. Get a pair of gloves as well so I'll put those on once I start doing my hair. So all you do to start with is just mix number one in number two. So you just take the lid off Pierce the tube with the top, then number one just goes in number two. And then you just pop the top back on. And it's got a little bit of plastic there that you just leave on until you finish shaking. And then just give it a good old shake. Right, I've moved you up higher so you can see the top of my head a bit better. So I've mixed all that up and then all you do is pop the top off. So always do a patch test and you actually put the colour onto unwashed hair. And what I'm going to do, this one here, you can either use it as sort of a root, root touch up and refresh or if you want to go for a full, my hair that looks lovely, um, if you want to go for a full colour change, we'll do the roots first and then going down into the rest of the hair. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, if you've got short hair, you don't need to use the whole bottle. I probably need more than one, actually. So I'm going to start with the roots. And what I tend to do first is a T-zone. So you just put some on all the way to the back of the head, I do. And then what I tend to do is just give it a good old mix in so it gets all the root either side. There and then a little bit down here, and then what I'll do is I shall flip my hair over and then start doing it in sections. I need to make sure I get plenty on the sides because that's where I'm most grey. And then I'll put a little bit on my fringe and just go through again because the fringe was where it was the lightest. So, so far on that bit, I've used about a third. And for me, that's where I need the most colour change. And then what I'll do is now make sure I go through the rest. So that's the full bottle now on my hair. Hopefully you saw, I sort of sectioned the back off, 
poured some of the liquid into my hands, rubbed it in, and then I go through and brush it through to the ends of my hair. And I sort of do it in four sections, and that's just to make sure, because my hair's so long now, I have to make sure that all of the hair's covered right down to the tips. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm mean, supposed to leave it on for between 25 to 35 minutes, depending on um, how much colour you want to take. So if you're trying to lighten your hair, you leave it on for longer. So you also need to include the application time. So that's taken me 10 minutes. So I'm going to leave it on for another 15 minutes, wash it out, and hopefully we'll be able to see some good results. As you can see, it's starting to change the roots already which is good it's calming them down a bit taking them from that really bright blonde and just adding a little bit of warmth through them and then what you do you just wash it uh, you sort of rinse it off with normal water until the color the water runs clear and the colors out and you use some of the conditioner um, to keep the color in it's like a color seal conditioner so i'm just going to carry on brushing the color through now then i'll wash it off and then i'll come back to you when hopefully it's looking a little bit warmer this is me, just put a little bit of makeup on and I've started to dry my hair off. So I wanted to just show you um, how it's taken. So I'm really pleased with it actually. It's, um, as you can see, the, the front is now not so bright blonde. It's put a little bit of um, warmth through it and the sides got rid of all the gray. That bit's still a little bit wet. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's taken. I'm wondering if maybe I need two boxes um, because it's not quite taken all the way down to the bottom of my hair now it's so long. That's it all done. I hope you've enjoyed that one. I'm not a professional hairdresser. Please do the patch test. Don't necessarily listen to what I've said. Do it yourself and read the instructions. But I have been dyeing my hair for quite a few years now, so... Um, hopefully i've got a decent idea of what to do so hope you've enjoyed that one please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and you're interested in this sort of video and give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and all as always leave me any comments below and i'll always write back to you so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye for now <laughs>